Heck daddy, thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> because you are amazing. I don't deserve this, but thank you. I have the same number <laughs> of points I started with in the beginning. True. So you consistently get the 2K and then you get it back and then you donate. Muted cat. Wait, am I muted? I'm probably very loud. Hold on. Let's let's everybody calm down. Let's just calm down. Man, you guys were gonna be so impressed, and then it all got stolen away from me. I actually set up my heart rate monitor and I got it working and I did the thing in OBS and now it won't connect. This is why we can't have nice things. I'm trying to have nice things and it has like... Like there's no on switch. <laughs> Everything is always broken. Hello everyone, how goes it? Hi you guys, it's going well, thank you. Luciano, how's it going? Just want it to work. Maybe the battery they gave me is like, I don't know. Well, figure that out for another day. Cicada, I'm good, how are you? 11k left oh my gosh is that a heart rate monitor it is a heart rate monitor currently not working wait i wonder if i know it was working yesterday i got it set up do we think it's because my location is not on Maybe I should forget the device. Maybe I'll do this. And then this. And then this. <laughs> Maybe you just don't have a pulse. Could be. I had not considered that being a uh, an option. I feel like it's not a dead battery thing because it's seeing it show up. <laughs> Ray is a vampire confirmed or just so, so old that my heart is barely just like, okay, let's do this. Things breaking seems to be happening everywhere this week. Every stream I've watched <laughs> has had something that wasn't working. I managed to, uh... yeah, uh, I was trying to get things, you know, starting to get things set up for the charity stream on Saturday and had a couple of boo-boos happen. I don't know if it was like a Windows update for everyone or what, but... <laughs> Has anybody ever seen Ray and Sunshine at the same time? That is true. I always have these clothes and I'm like, oh, it's because I don't want you like you guys to see the parking lot behind me. But like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of sus, not gonna lie. Hello, Ray. Good to see you again. Hi, Don. How's it going? <laughs> I finally I got my dream of a tiny house just in a in a parking lot yeah I don't know what happened I'm gonna blame it how do I know if if my location services are on that's something else people are saying Ew, I don't want the monitor getting close to my cookies, though. <laughs> Google yourself and see if it tells you where you are. 
Oh my gosh, doxing myself. <laughs> Keep going, guys. 5k left. I can't even believe, like, 1 million to me just seemed like such, like, a far-fetched number. Like, there's no way in 30 days. You know where I messed up was, um... Reducing, I was trying to get people to not do the baking stream and instead redeem the uh, the cookie crumbles for... Oh yeah, I think the battery is dead. Um, for bites of a cookie, but no. Oh, wait! You guys did it! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! You guys, that is... That is one million cookie crumbles. A million. It is time to bake, people. Okay, I've been waiting on... Oh my gosh. Won't well, rip microphone. Um... I bought these little, like, <laughs> and this is with Ray skipping a stream. Uh, two, two. I'm cookie crumble poor now. Okay, every everybody just chill out. Just chill out. Re, uh, reacquire crumbles. Use them for bites of cookies. Zeus, thank you so much for the follow. In other words, that's 200 bites of cookies. Oh yeah, because they're 5k, right? That is, okay. This better be a really good baking stream because I was robbed of 200 bites of cookies. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is, this is, uh... Not the type of competition I want, because it's only hurting myself. And now I have to bake my own cookies. Like, that's not good at all. So I bought um, their, like, cookie cutters, but they're letters. So I'm going to make sugar cookies that say, sorry for screaming, and then I'm going to give it to my neighbors. I'm sitting with my family, so I muted my laptop. So you're going to have to really speak up. Wait, what? No. No, Mikey, no. Spend spend time with your family. Unless you just want me to scream so that everybody that isn't or doesn't have me muted has their ears bleed. I'm not sure where this is going, but... I'm gonna have to catch the VOD. Have a great stream. Bye, Jiro. I will see you later. Hopefully it's a, hopefully it's a good VOD. And you know, the rest of the stream goes off without a hitch. Okay, so the I don't see like an on and off button for this, which is confusing. So it's just like always on. But yeah. <laughs> I can't hear you acknowledging me or not. I'm afraid you're going to have to wave a series of coded flags. Okay, hold on. I think I can get this. Well, I guess if he has me muted, then I could have just, you know, said words so you guys could have heard it, but I think that pretty much covered it. Nyx, how is it going? Ray, do you know Morse code? I do not. I do not. But I feel like it would be a useful skill to have, so... <laughs> this will be entertaining when I watch the VOD later, I can tell. Ray, I would not suggest picking up being a mime. I, okay, I think like, 
if it would have been better if I was looking at the camera because you guys get my full like like you you get that better than when I'm talking to my microphone I'm good how are you I'm also good thank you <laughs> Final, final answer beyond. I, I cookies rock babies to sleep and then scare them. But, but what about this part? This is clearly bleeding ears. Uh, I don't know what else that could be, so. Oh, that's the baby's crying. Makes sense. Fours, hello, hello. Or sparkling hair, but I think I was making like a face. Yeah, I, I don't win charades very often. People don't, they don't get the, like, I don't know. You gotta think outside the box sometimes. And people have a hard time doing that. <laughs> I missed it, what game? Uh, what's the game today? We are continuing Detroit Become Human. Um, and then we, I, I highly doubt I'm gonna be finishing it tonight. So uh, my next stream is going to be on Saturday, but Saturday is a charity stream. And with the the jam-packed event list i don't know if i'll be able to get finishing detroit and then so probably sunday will be the end the charity is games for love um i can't remember if i still have the announcement or the charity yes Games for Love. Um, and they're an organization that donates games and gaming councils um, to hospitals, community centers that go to, you know, go to help children that are in various sorts of treatments or um, situations in which they they could use a little a little distraction, you know? So you mean you're not gonna do an immediate second playthrough? Uh, I feel like I'm sure somewhere on the internet, I want to see what every single ending is, like with with the little like uh, flow chart thing, and then the endings. Is it a Jewish organization? I don't think so. <laughs> The actual charity. Yeah, my neighbors, my neighbors are now starting a charity called, uh, we need, we are asking that only one apartment in the whole complex gets completely padded walls for the sanity of everybody else that lives around. Video games for kids. I love it. My parents didn't allow me to play video games as a kid. Are you serious, you guys? Oh my gosh, I could not, I couldn't imagine. Cause it was such like a, it was a bonding experience. Like my family and I would play board games as well, but video games were such like a part of my family and like spending time together is good. <laughs> Habitat for insanity, oh no. <laughs> Literally, I can I can just see it now. I just started Detroit. Yes, dancing. How are you liking it? Oh my gosh. Well, I like. I I hope that people today are more embracing of video games um there's also like different parts of um or like different pockets of 
uh, Games for Love where you can like volunteer your time to like go to a hospital and like play with the kids and stuff like that. So I think once, once, you know, the world is in a better state, I would totally want to do something like that. I played Return the, the Castle, Return to Castle Wolfstein. My, my German grandmother did not approve. Oh gosh. Too competitive. Oh, to go play with like little kids, <laughs> like in situations where they're trying to just like, <laughs> They're like, oh, I just got out of treatment and beyond just like, I don't care, kid. <laughs> Sit down. Hey, how are you? Uh, Gahan, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening now. If I could play Little League, you're like, if I, I could just see it now. I am great. That's great. I'm glad to hear. Where are you from? Uh, I live in the US. So I built a house for a family. The property had insane hiking, a 10 foot diving board into the ocean, hot tub, uh, the kids first time in their new house, all set and played on their switches all week. These kids, these kids these days, like, 10 foot diving board into the ocean. That's amazing though. I am very jealous. Kids these days do nothing but screen time. I know, I was thinking about that. Um, I don't know, sometimes towards the end of the day, I just feel like, I, I personally have never had a migraine before, but I get to the end of like a work day and I just feel like, I don't know. It's almost like congestion, like in in the front of my brain here. And I just wonder if it's from working like 10 hours a day and then video games. And when I'm not sitting at one of these two computers, like on my couch, you know? My brother was just beat by his eight-year-old son on PS4. Oh no. Yeah, he he's gonna he's gonna have to practice up. Can't be letting these kids beat us down. Alright. It is already later than usual, so. This doesn't seem right, does it? Does that seem right? So, I love Philly cheesesteaks. Haven't had it since I found out I was pregnant. I open the wrapper to one for tonight for dinner. I was so nauseous, I'm so upset. No, Sophie, I'm so sorry. I know from my um, friends and family that have had kids, they say that's the worst part is you get these crazy intense cravings for like certain foods when you're pregnant. And then sometimes you finally get whatever that weird food is like in your grasp. And then the smell of it just makes you sick. Hey, we made the cooking stream. We made the cooking stream. Well, hopefully you were able to have something for dinner, Sophie. <laughs> My hypothetical kid ever beats me in video games. Instant grounding. Like, okay, you're clearly playing too many video games if you just beat me, so go to your room. Ray, how are you liking Becoming Human? It's so good, Sophie. It's so good. Okay, hold on. I was gonna do the thing. Where, 
What did I do before? Yes, I did this. Hold, you guys will see it in a moment. Bam. <laughs> Your thumbnails, you thrown up hands like a gang sign. Oh no. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, I mean, literally could be anything, but. I had fries, but now my appetite is ruined. So now I'm not even hungry. Oh, fries are still good. I would eat some fries some fries. Man, out of context, that leads to a lot of unanswered questions. Which one? The cooking stream? Or the grounding your kid for beating you in video games? Honestly, could be either. All right, you guys. Is this music a little too... Nah, it's gonna be fine. Because we are getting into... <gasps> Steam news. First up, Fallout 76 locked and loaded. Free weekend. Play for free until Wednesday at 10 a.m. PDT. Or 67% off until Thursday at 10 a.m. PDT. So... Quick maths, free until Wednesday, or normally $39.99, you can get it for $13.19, click for details. Fellow Traveler Publisher Sale, up to 90% off Story Rich Games. Originally $9.99, currently $1.99, click for details. My games! Publisher weekend up to 60% off. Click for details. Pre purchase now. Battlefield 2042. $59.99. Pre purchase now. Um, how, how are you feeling about Battlefield? It's looking, it's looking pretty good. People not about the. I uh, think there's a new class of healer or something. Oh, becoming human. How are you liking becoming human? That's funny. <laughs> Congratulations on reaching our cooking goal. Hey, that's all you guys. That's all you guys. Ray, have you ever played a first person shooter? Yeah, right. Does, um, I don't know, would like Half-Life count as a, as a first person shooter? Wait, is it first person? Yeah, it's first person, right? Or am I crazy? Still playing Battlefield 4. You're buttered. You're like, not so sure. Look at the Overwatch poster behind her. Okay, also true. Also true. Oh yeah, Half-Life series. I feel like there's others. At least that Bioshock. Played a couple. Uh, I'd be open to playing it as long as I can play on mouse and keyboard. Um, FIFA 21, free weekend, 67% off. I never get when they do that, but I think it's like free through the weekend and then it's 67% off. So FIFA 21, originally $59.99, you can get it for $19.79. Click for details. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, now available. Usually is $39.99, but you, yes you, can get it for $35.99. Click for details. Season of Pride 2021, presented by Midboss. Originally is $14.99, but you can get it for $8.69. Nice. Click for details. Oh, Gaiden, Gaiden. Mm. 
Ninja, lots, lots on the news, but lots of good stuff on the news. We, we will take it, we will take it. And since it takes me so much time and effort, I'm just gonna... Wait, did I say Biohazard? I meant Bioshock. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. This is, this has just gotten to me this day. Gaiden. What, what's Ninja Gaiden about? Is it like a Mortal Kombat-y game? Busy day at work. Yeah, busy day at work. And then I occasionally have the meetings. I think they're like every other Thursday. Um, but today it was 7.30 to 8.30. Then we had a 15 minute break and then another like half an hour little touch base. So it was just like, I just want to go play video games. I miss Mortal Kombat -y games. Mortal Kombat was like one of the only games that my parents, uh, specifically my mom, was like not really about us playing, but like I could pr I could probably understand that. It was Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo, and I think I was probably my brother and I were probably both under the age of like seven so I could probably get that <laughs> Eye racing is pretty much like Mortal Kombat I've 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 seen things I've seen things all right we need to cut the music and then we need to go here switch us over into Detroit had 11 and a half hours of meetings yesterday and three hours of boat driving. Was it enjoyable boat driving or no? Uh, it's hack and slash, but with Dark Souls difficulty before <laughs> Demon Souls was a thing. Wait, the, the Ninja Gaiden game is? Oh, dang. Now we know, now we know. Um, are we good? Are we good to go? I think we're good. Let's go. Boop and boop. Wh Why? Why? Hi, Ray. Looking great as always. Well, thank you, Nolo. Man, okay. Well, goodness, now what? Uh... Better when there's music. Um, can I alt tap this or does it need to be actually open? I don't know. What can I play right now? Oh gosh. Stump, how's it going? <laughs> Ray. Yeah, more, more charades, more charades. How was everybody's day? Is it good? I mean, we're cruising. We're at 20%. Hi, Ray. Do you plan to play Last of Us 2? Yes, I will be playing Last of Us 2. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I 
kind of was gonna put it after this, but I I'm debating putting like another small game in between. I just don't, just not sure. Ray, you beautiful woman, you good evening. DZ, good evening to you. Yeah, well, that's what I'm like because Last of Us Two is a lot longer than Last of Us One, right? I live in the future, so it's Friday, 10 a.m. for me now. Oh my gosh. Miyaka, how's it going? Um, yeah. Well, is The Last, uh, Last of Us 2 less scary than Last of Us 1? Because if so, and we can all be adults and not be, you know, little scaredy cats and, and scream and etc. Um, we could play on the weekdays. So 25 to 30 hours. <laughs> oh my God, it's 90 degrees and you have long sleeves on. It's, it's probably cooler where I'm at, depending on where you live, but I've got a hunch. That's actually a, that's a long game. Okay, well, in that case, I wouldn't want to just play it on the weekends. I don't know. <laughs> For Ray, it's like 30 streams. Right, so if, if I put in an actual, like, three hours, that would take me 10 streams. But is Ray gonna play The Other Last of Us, i.e. Days Gone? I think I've seen um, maybe a trailer or something for Days Gone, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. It was very... I'm already anxious. Oh no. I'm, al I'm literally already anxious. It is very long. I was surprised. I, I did not expect that, but maybe they had a lot to really... They'd get it all in there. I'm having dinner right now. And how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I was not expecting a, uh, a shader compilation. You know, I should start opening this before Steam News. So just in case this happens. I thought this was like a one and done type thing, but maybe not. Oh, you're in Tampa? Yeah, no, that's, that is way too warm for me. Hey, we good? I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. I know it's been a couple days, but I am here now. Everything is going to be a-okay. Right? Okay, I'll take that as a yeah. Have you played Life is Strange? No, I have not played Life is Strange. Last of Us Part 2 is at least 25. If you explore, it's 35. In the end, I wonder how long it took me. Okay, when I am done with Detroit and I go back to Steam, remember to have me check how long it took me for Last of Us Part 1. Okay, we are continuing. I'm gonna sneeze. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Okay, we're fine. Uh, century. What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. It's 
to read more. In 2028, Elisha Kamsky was our man of this century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy. They changed the way we live, reconstruct or restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared. Ousted as CEO of CyberLife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Kamsky's story begins in 2018 when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and BioComponents. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans were laid for mass production, and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet, at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a 500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? That was a long one. Thank you for sticking with me through it. Markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval, CyberLife, world's first trillion dollar company. Uh, the aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday, following a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply, supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side li likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Whoa. Twitch says, oh, that's true, Ray rambles. They, they take up a teensy bit of time. <laughs> with a small loan of one trillion dollars from his father aren't they all just like that trying to convert <laughs> expected game time to raise streaming time i would be curious i would be curious so let me know what what comes of the analysis got to be more stuff than just that here, right? Okay, talk to Hank. Got it. Are there sometimes like, oh, too late. Nice view, huh? Mm -hmm. I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before, before what? Hmm? You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing.
question? Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. Who's I don't they? have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. Yep. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? Hmm. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. It's they true. really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Tell the truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Oh, come on. Kill you. Please don't. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Uh, I don't know. Nothing. There would be nothing. Oh, just let it be the right answer. Where are you going? Get drunker. I need to think. Was okay, right? All right, Let's see. Hank left Connor alone. I miss. Okay, so this is probably. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Honestly, I wouldn't want my machine to feel emotions. My iPhone would make me feel guilty for not charging it. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and your iPhone is like, <laughs> it's getting so cold. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, having a drunk guy running around with a six shooter is perhaps not the best idea. Oh, was there a way to, uh, let's see. Gus Russian roulette. 
this was the only thing there. Okay, show fear. This is the fear of dying. Uh, I don't know what this is. What would this be? That he gets mad enough and shoots you? I feel like no. Maybe stays and talks with Connor? can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Request access. All right. Well, let's let's assess the situation. Seven, local news network. Uh, fours, Danny Dogmouth and James Arlington. Thank you guys so much for the follows. All right, let us. Okay. Okay, so we can pick the girl standing up or the guy sitting down at the desk. What would be the difference in these in these options? <laughs> Press and hold left alt to switch to Trevor. No. No. The unreasonably attractive robots are taking over. Oh no, L rip literal regular humans. Okay. <sighs> Sitting down guy or standing up girl? <sighs> I don't know. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. Smartwatch. Her 
water, Emily. Elizabeth Wilson. Parking badge. And her home address. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, the school. This is Safe Row School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Act natural. Act natural. Here, read talk. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Give ID. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Do we think there's something at her computer desk that I need? Oh, I can't go this way. Okay. Okay. Assess, assess. I feel like I should be able to grab something off her desk. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold. Hold. No! Okay. I definitely thought I was being... Oh, nothing to see here. An elevator. Ram, how's it going? And now I will uh, go up to 47. Find package in men's restroom. I'm here and I need to go straight back men's bathroom. Okay. Let's go this way. Not miss anything. We have to do this perfectly. Okay, G I Android. This supplements, or sorry, Department of Defense poised to order 50,000 Android troopers. This supplements an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the U.S. military. Actual numbers are a guarded military secret. Among these 500,000 new units, there are 2,500 Myrmidons, Myrmidons, elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missions that would historically fall to Navy SEALs. The U.S. Army's fighting forces are already compromised mainly of androids, with humans tending to serve as commanders and strategists. But even these positions are supported by a complex AI, leading some to describe the U.S. military as the first fully autonomous fighting force. 
This has reopened the ethical debate around androids in the military, with some suggesting that machines don't have the moral reasoning to make life and death decisions in the field. Bob Woods, head of a war victims NGO, described the news as troubling, saying machines are focused on a single task and don't evaluate moral consequences well. This will mean more civilian deaths. All right, maybe something a little more upbeat. President Warren, a woman in trouble. Can she still lead the country? Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term. After rising to prominence as a vlogger, oh, as a vlogger, okay, Warren has no experience in government and relied on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now, with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder how she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Mired in, mirrored in accusations that she is too close to big business, Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from CyberLife's help in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history while facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. The conflict in the Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked with finding a solution. I wonder if I sh should be like peering into all the rooms like this. Maybe not. Excuse me, Mr. Robot. Social network strategy. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So there's that bathroom, but I didn't realize you could look in through the windows, so I wonder if I should go back through and do that. Are you, or how are you enjoying this game? I'm really, really enjoying it so far, Johnny. <laughs> Wait, you guys didn't actually? Are, are you guys getting bored when I like read all the way through them? You're like, I literally just picked them up and like flip through the pages. I don't know. I, I wanna... Okay, I don't want to draw attention to myself. I don't know if there's time. I don't I don't know a lot of things. I don't know a lot of things, so let's go to the bathroom. my back. Okay. Enter. Climb. Retrieve. fancy uh it's not boring if you read them i just it's just i read them later because if your missions are timed that is true that is true that's probably the only time when there was like a wind down clock or whatever 
Okay, I feel like we should wash our hands. Wash our hands. Okay, well, this guy's gonna think we're gross. Because we're going back to work without washing our hands. Oh, yeah! Wait, nobody is gonna think it's weird that a robot was just using the bathroom? I don't know. Find utility android. Wait, is that the utility android? Aha! There you are! I need your help. Steel maintenance cart. Okay. okay. Open fire escape. Actually, if a robot did clean the bathroom, I would want them to wash their hands. True. Okay, that's a good point, right? Because they're around humans that do make germs, so it makes sense. Oop. those guys leave it to me attract guards away from the door You get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay, check the door. Lock. Perfect. Now. Cut windows. Or saw. Cut. Pull. Here it comes. Go through. first. What are we 
you doing? Use rope to ascend. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this. I do not like this. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Okay. Hold on. Assess. Assess. That's calling the lift. What's this, though? Just gotta make sure I'm fully aware of the whole situation. Okay. Let's do this. Destroy maintenance lock door. This one. Place. Activate. Oh, that's fancy. Access to the main corridor. No killing. We can't take any human lives. The cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? What's Ru- What's Roos? What's Roos? Right what's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Okay, assess, assess. I wish I knew words and I wasn't stupid. I, at least process of elimination, I was like, okay, assault is bad. Ruse could be... Who knows? It's bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, sent! No! They know we're here now, we better be fast. 
Okay, they're they're Some not dead, the right? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no no no! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Oh, how did I already mess this up? S S S S S. Oh, come on. They're just knocked out, not dead, right? Okay, they're not dead, they're not dead. Uh, enter the broadcast room. Is this the broadcast room? Okay. Ambush? Ambush. Okay, we're not gonna use them though. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the operators aside. Over here. Okay, order. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Do it. No, don't Spare! shoot. Spare. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Okay. Start speech. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Oh we no! The future of our people. Oh, I can't. I can't. Marcus, your face. On my face. Remove skin. Tell me when you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Ready. Okay. 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 If we're just gonna. We're gonna be calm. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. And an end to we slavery. We an end of slavery for all androids. Uh, civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Yep, it's true. Right to property is no more. We demand the right to own private property. Or so we, we can own property, but people can't own us. The home. And determine. This message is the hope of a people. But it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. They're coming. Let's go. I don't know if determined at the end was the, I wanted to end on like a, you know, Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! Help! What are you doing? Hurry! W, 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 W! Oh, God!
I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. Oh, no way! Oh, I can't! I, I can't do it! I can't do it! Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the no! identity of this android. Oh, why did I do determined at the end? Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Man, I wanted... <sighs> I... Uh, I was so torn on that one. Because I wanted to end as like a... A, a determination, like a a call to like all androids sort of thing, but man. Oh, let's see the world stats. Okay. Ugh, I blew it. Okay. So where do, where do we start here? Where do we start here? Ruse. Security suspects something. Alert central security. North attacks. Okay, so something down here should have been me pulling my gun, but I was too slow. Um, so that was my bad, which then blows this whole section. Ring to enter. Don't shoot the operator. Begin calmly. End of slavery. Equal rights. Demand justice. Demand universal suffrage. Demand right to own property. And then if I ended peacefully, I, I would have felt so much better about this one. I don't know what this is here. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Try to save Simon. Simon saved. On the roof. Leave him. Roof. Jump. Group escapes with Simon's left behind. Oh. <sighs> You did good, Ray. The only part that didn't go well was the ruse with the guards. Would it, if I did ruse with the guards and then pulled my gun in time, was that the best choice? I think when you let the guy alert the people, you can't say as much. Okay. Oh, drat. I, 
I just felt like I didn't have enough to like assess the situation and then it was gone. Dang. <laughs> North wakes up and chooses violence. Yeah, we are not on good terms with with North, but hopefully hopefully, you know, the overall end she can see through it. The best choice is to kill all the humans. Oh no. Yeah, two of your choices cost you, Simon. Ah, dang it. Oh boy, we're back. I gotta go do, go do the usual rounds, you know. Uh, it's just that part of the ruse didn't do on time. I think this is still the best outcome, <laughs> given everything else I messed up. Oh, look at her in the little boat this time. Go for a little ride. There's, there's one other interaction thing I can do, right? I just don't remember where it is. Over here, maybe? Nope. In the middle? I'm just coming in to say hallelujah the baking stream is confirmed in uh i don't know what does the i think it ends up being in 24 25 days you guys raised one million cookie crumbles that's just like uh i don't know how that is possible but hello connor you, you did it. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Sure. I think there's one other thing I normally do here, but... Push. Okay. We, we gotta get on our good side. Cute. Eat. And throw. Well, this is lovely. Yes. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh, let's start with the eating club. I found club. two deviants at the eating club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Yes. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. Now I realize it's not that oh, simple. Gosh. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Truth. I don't know. 
Oh, boy. Okay, uh, I gotta find a way... If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I'm confident. I know I will succeed. Yes. All and I fine. need is time. Mm -hmm. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it they out. attacked two guards in the hallway. Well, we got to get to the roof first. Coming to do maintenance. They got taken so down before they could anything? react. Uh, I'll check. Okay, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I see it. I see it. Salmon. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's... How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah. Something. They jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. Listen to briefing. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. Listen to the briefing. Check this. Oh, Lieutenant. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Hello. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. Yeah, agreed. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, listen. Have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Oh, okay. Possible accomplice. Bullet holes. read and then back to the crime scene bleeding blue 
After decades of Android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, CyberLife revolutionized the industry through an innovation of their CEO and visionary, Elijah Kamsky. Therium 310, the chemical name of Blue Blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all CyberLife androids, circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers biocomponents, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on, where others are used to make the android seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. As with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resu resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential for CyberLife's androids' key selling point, how human they seem. That is that this wonder chemical, both a power supply and a way of regulating the android's internal systems, was developed by one man, who isn't even a trained chemist, only furthers the myth of Elijah Kamsky. And secondly, green earth. Green, clean food craze. Detroit Urban Farms is changing the way we eat. America's urban centers all face two growing problems, unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low-calorie food. But Detroit Urban Farms, a plot scheme in Michigan's capital city, may, ha find, may, have, find, may have find a solution to both. DUF is an urban initiative that takes city dead space, such as high rooftops and unused courtyards, and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban unemployed, offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. All food is grown without pesticides or other chemicals, and the organic produce that results in sold through is sold through specialist organic retailers. And with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens on the plate can only be a good thing. When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now, DUF employs over 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If it means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. He said G, but that's a J. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Oh. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. That's a little sus. He said his own, uh... Wait, that's the only one I can talk to? Oops, okay. I, I didn't realize. My bad. Mm hmm Shifted his eyes and said that his name was GB300, but it was a J. back over here that I missed before. Check CCTV. Mm 
deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. doesn't say some of this stuff I don't want him to say out loud all right let's go back in saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing which means there's a deviant in this room mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to here. find out which it is dude but but what do I want to try to do here I think I want to try to cut him a deal right if you give yourself up maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you destroyed if only one is deviant turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you Listen, I, I know, I know, I know, man. Okay, so my options here are to threaten the Deviant or what happens if I threaten one of the other two? Like, I want to trick the game almost and like threaten one of these, but because, okay, here, the worst case scenario is I threaten one of them and them, like the people that are outside hear the shouting, they come in 
And then Connor's like, this one's a deviant or whatever. And then they shoot and kill that one, but I don't want them to hurt the deviant. So I feel like I have to pick one of the, I have to pick one of the other two, cause what else happens? I, I threaten this guy and now after guilt and after trying to strike a deal, he's like, all right, yeah, I know. I should have came clean sooner, but I'm not. Oh, oh I'm, not, I'm not cut out for games like this. That That's what this is coming down to, because I'm up at this, like... I think I have to threaten a non-deviant. I think I have to threaten one of these guys. literally looking right I know it got to a point where I was staring at him so long like his lips are moving he's like okay my final answer is we're gonna threaten a non-deviant just in case something catastrophic happens and they come in here and they start shooting and Connor can be like, this one, whatever. And then they're gonna kill... Jub, Jubix, thank you so much for the follow. And Gavink, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my gosh, okay. True. Wait, can I pause it right here? They'll kill an innocent android? Okay, fair fair point. Wait, let's 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 pause. Let's pause. Okay, so if if security comes in here and kills an innocent android, then they like even even the deviants that came in here, they didn't kill a single human person. And all of a sudden, the humans are going to turn on an innocent android? That's not a good look. Also, the guy that's a deviant, he did something wrong, but it was for the greater cause. So Connor doesn't know. Well, yes, Connor does know, right? Because I'm Connor and Connor is me. So Connor knows which one the deviant is at this point. So now he's going to make a decision to question a non-deviant. <laughs> My smart toaster asked me to respect his property rights. Is it a good look either? Uh... Humans do turn on innocent androids all the time. Look at Alison Cara's owner. Yeah, exactly. So kill the android who did nothing wrong instead of the guy who helped the guy trying to take over the world. Well, he's he's not trying to take over the world. He's trying to be equal. He's trying to be equal. They, they're just looking for equality. And the deviant was trying to help get the message out. And this guy, uh, I like if something bad happens to this guy, I'm gonna feel bad, but I think I've now gotten over the hump of I need to pick one of the two non-deviants. Yes. Uh, like Connor personally is not going to kill anybody but I'm worried that the human security outside is going to come in here and shoot. An innocent android will not react to a threat. Right. Yeah. Right. Because the threat is going to be like, 
you need to tell me if you're a deviant right now. And Android's gonna be like, I am not. And then, like, situation over. Whew. Okay, so now we need to pick one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a android by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! Oh, come on! It's not even over! Bluff? Oh my god. Oh, this is getting so much worse. Okay. Okay, we we just want this guy to tell us the truth. So all things involving violence and torture and all of that jazz, we need to bluff this guy. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. I know everything. Oh no! 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 Oh god! Oh, 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 oh. No way! Look on the ground, look on the ground. Oh, yes, push! What else do I have? Why can't I pull the knife out of myself? Oh, I can. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Q up. Q E up. E Q
at 4%. 4%. I just ended up in the bottom 4%, losing too much time. SWAT kills the Deviant. Uh <laughs> You never know. <laughs> Maybe the other ending was Detroit gets nuked. Okay, very that's a very very valid point. Who knows how awful these up here could have been. That's not a bad thing. That just means most people didn't get that outcome. Yeah, that that's the part. That's the part that makes it feels bad. A choice that was about <laughs> plebs slow claps. No. Nope. I almost I almost got Connor killed. Hank almost got killed. The Deviant was killed. SWAT members were killed. Um, yeah. Ray, if you repeat that, you need to chase them. <laughs> Those other results. Okay, so we're just gonna believe. Let's just, let's just continue on thinking these three are all uh, nukes getting dropped on Detroit and the game ends. These are all game ending endings. At least we get to continue on playing. We picked one, we picked the ending that we get to keep playing the game. So, Icy Dice, thank you so much for the follow. The other side is the roof that you didn't do. I wish I did the roof. I so wish I did the roof. I just, I don't know. I thought, I thought that if I just went, I just wanted an outcome where you sort of understand that there's a deviant in the kitchen and you do whatever it takes to be like, wait, like, I know. And you help the whole situation here. I just need you to know that I know. And just play it, just play it cool. Just play it cool. But no, instead, rips out Connor's heart, stabs him in the hand, through what was the point of kicking the chair over? Probably to make you panic, but I'm more worried about the people. Oh yeah, that not not good for for deviant's uh reputation there. Yeah, the whole the whole mass murder thing at the end there kind of sort of ruined it. So <laughs> it's I don't know. Okay. So we're we're just gonna we're just gonna lick our wounds. Continue on. Oh, gosh. We see any other options. I see talk to a person. Um, excuse me? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? 
What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? Trust. You don't have a choice. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? That's cute. What's in here? Blue blood. I'm fine, Kara. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Are you sure? You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. They're scared. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Well, that's nice. Suggests eating. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything.
Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Let's curtains. Oops. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why us? are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. Oh, it's no. probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. So we can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Resting. I wasn't sleepy.
Come on, Alice. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. You can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Yeah, the, um, uh, I don't know which, like, no choice. It's hard because I'm trying to be very conscious of, like, the way things are coming across. So I'm trying to decide in a very short time period, like, okay, is there any way this thing can be taken even remotely bad? Like, oh. <clears throat> World War Three. Who would win it? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Myr Myrmidon cyber life units, which are specially adapted for marine combat where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, WCTD, has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also commented on the neck and neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Treat yourself. The AX400 starting at just 899. Is it's her. I only had a chance to look at one thing. It's the police. What are we gonna do? They know we're here. 
Okay. Uh We have to open the door. Hide evidence. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Okay. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Had evidence. Oh god. Oh god. Is it this? It's probably this. No. No, no, no. Please, please. Oh, I'm out of time. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? What's the last piece? No. No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? Oh my god. No. No, there are no androids here. And make some coffee real quick. I made evidence myself. No. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. Oh no, oh no, why did I lie? Remember when I said no more lying? We always tell the truth. <sighs> we gotta tell the truth. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's just the washing machine. It's nothing, the, the washing machine. 
It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Leaker, Lemon, and Abdurla. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Okay. Okay. How do we do? All right. All right. You know what? I'll take beam with the 88% of other people. That is... Plus minus this. Let's open the door. Okay. How, how do we do here? We check on Alice. Read magazine. Cop at the door. Change the magazine cover. Blue blood pouches. Policeman. Oh, wait. There's, there's something I missed here. Lie about Alice. Policeman subs subsistious so maybe he leaves sooner here if i just say my daughter's upstairs not sure julie thank you so much for the resub no no you're on vacation get out of here did he just take the mug somebody better call the police on that guy he stole our mug <laughs> now Ray's neighbors know you have resub. Sorry. I got so excited. She's here. Okay, she's not here. She's not here. Everybody don't look at Julie, okay? So the officer mugged you. Uh, I see. Okay. I see what you did there. Okay. Uh, okay. Those you missed could be if you didn't hide all the ovens. Also true. That's Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. A confrontation will get us nowhere. I know I messed up. Can we Simon stop? Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Oh. And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. Mm -hmm. All selling us like merchandise. Okay. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. No we free violence. Our people, people get them out of there before the police come. Mm-hmm. This is a night our people will remember. Hold on, before we leave. Aha, I just knew. I, from a mile away, I see him. Okay. Who is it? The question everyone's asking. Following the pirate broadcast in Detroit, everyone wants to know, who is this android? A federal investigation is underway to track the machine down and neutralize it. But law enforcement is being very tight-lipped about the details. Eyewitness claims, 
Eyewitnesses claim the android broke into the Stratford Tower, Detroit's local TV news center, with a group of accomplices. The machines were armed and organized, clearly following orders from this mysterious ringleader. Which brings us to the real mystery of the situation. Where did this android come from? How did it become so capable of violence? And what kind of malfunction could explain its behavior? Until the FBI develops an its investigation, we can't be sure, but one thing is certain, until this dangerous machine is destroyed, the speculation will continue. Also, an android for president. A recent study suggests there should be, a recent study by an expert panel found that androids would be more effective than humans in a number of government positions, including that of the president. Besides their work rate and their virtually infinite memory, androids are incorruptible and indifferent to any form of pressure. Provided they are given clear goals, they are able to take the right steps to achieve them without having to worry about popularity or re-election. Is an android president the future? It's inevitable, whatever, according to a panel of experts who have deemed it just a matter of time until public opinion is ready to accept the idea. In the light of recent corruption cases and the serious political mistakes of recent years, some are starting to think this is the best way to preserve our democracy. <laughs> wow, this sounds an awful like, like a dictatorship. Lizzie, thank you so much for gifting us a, a sub to Zoom. I really appreciate it, thank you so much. <laughs> Mubad for president, yes. <laughs> I don't want I don't wanna live here, so I'll pass. Oh no. Even the robots even the robots don't wanna live here. They're fleeing to Canada. Oh no. Alright, got in our little I've been waiting a long time for this. following her or oh yeah follow Nora. Marcus where are you going follow me sorry sorry also please don't shout I was just trying to see if I could run I There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Okay. Hold. Hold. There are things I need to read and do, I believe. Commemorate the invention of androids, which release humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Convert! Convert! You're free. Convert! You're free. the name of that store. 
You're free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Okay. Well, what are you gonna do? You're free. Okay, do we see any yellow poking out? That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay. Secure the area. What, what are all these? We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now, one problem at a time. Oh! Reconstruct root. Drone patrol. Okay, so... Find the right location. Wrong location. Okay. So a little bit further. Would be too far. Okay. A little bit further. Still too far. And oh, how about the scaffolding here? Perfect. Okay, now what's next? Run, 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 run. Okay, so I somehow gotta climb this, right? Back it up, back it up. About this way. Deep. Oh. Too high. Okay. So I think this is good. But then. Oh. What about directly up? And then jump. Time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. We will soon find out. Okay. What's over here? There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one. One way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Block the road. Let's get 
them to help us. And then have them block the road. bother us now. Okay. I have no sense of time. Well, what am I supposed to be doing for these guys? Uh, I don't think I can get down there. Oh, goodness. I don't know. It's... Well, what was that time remaining? Oh, I've got, I've got plenty of time. All right, let's go see. No parking. Truck exit. Exactly what we need to ram this door. S steal the truck. There's something over here, I thought. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you just had to like. Let's analyze the store window and then figure out everything else. Marcus! What? You see the alarm system? No. Yes. Identify network. Found it. Goes this way. This way. Go to Jericho. Neil? Alarm network, okay. Up. E. Shift. Nice. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Okay, get the truck, get the truck. What are we waiting for? Let's get that truck out. Okay, 
maybe I can... Are we just gonna ram it? Oh. How about these? Let's use these. Break. Cut. Nice. Now, take the truck. Hack. E. Q. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. W. end up doing something fun. As many as we can. Oh, sorry. Convert. You don't have to obey them. You're free. You are all free. you go down but only to waste levels so Northy okay let's get them out of here My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? 
I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh no, 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 we should not do this. Decide our first action. I'm confused. What what am I selecting? Uh, I don't want violence. How do I choose not violence? The screens, Marcus. They're waiting for your instructions, Marcus. Show them what to do. If I, oh God. Okay. What are we putting on the screens is the thing. I don't know what's gonna happen when we hijack. Are we gonna like, I just, I, like, hijack seems like a bad thing, you know? And I'm trying to, like, maybe I need to go to all the things and... <laughs> I, like, why can't we have just a little violence? Because I chose a little... It wasn't even violence. I chose to be strong and determined one time and everybody's like oh my god the robots are trying to murder us i made a hard time for everybody else <laughs> i think my friend did the other and was violent i feel like we just want to feel like we just want to turn them off because right now they are they're advertising the selling of androids. So I think we just want to send the message of like, you can't sell us anymore. Like we're not, we're not servants to you any longer. So we're, we're taking away the things that are standing for that. So we need to choose not violence. Okay, let's choose not violence. That was violent? No, 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 no. No. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Okay, tag? Choose the symbol. S kind of looks like a peace sign. Perfect. Yes. Spread peace. Spread peace. Good, 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 good. Okay. Kiosk. Marcus. Violence is the only language humans understand. No. Refuse. I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't we do not them. need. They're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Plant flag. Oh. 
Okay, sorry. I, I saw something. Okay, overload. E. What is happening? Wait, wait, wait. Did I pick the right thing or the wrong thing? Move on road, upturn. Move on road. You. Done yet. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice.
have to do this? No. Won't punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? The cops aren't going to say that they were spared? What? All, all's too sweet. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> obscure, obscure slogans, which are just like peace signs. Uh, Bumblebee, thank you for the bite of cookie. Rich Mari, thank you so much for the follow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. How did we do? Let's go. Why does the police patrol arrive? Refuse Molotov. Plant flag. Wait, people don't plant the flag? Turn off billboards. Streetlights banner. Strong message. Pacifist message. What's this? Police. Yeah, police not alerted, but then they're still alerted in the end? Okay. Deactivate alarm, find trunk. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. Change the channel. Maybe they covered it somewhere else. Where is the channel that's telling the actual truth? The news as it really happened. Those police officers just open fired on completely peaceful androids. And then in a moment where they had nothing, the androids spared their lives. Where's that news story? You know, you know who would cover it? Ray at Ray's Cookies dot Steam News. That's where. Here, how's it going? <laughs> it's fun. Those two cops were a low key couple that wanted to get away for a bit, ended up having to kill some draw. It was a date, a date gone. <laughs> okay, those cops woke up went on a date, and chose violence. And I will not stand for it. The <laughs> Honestly, Raid's Cookies at Steam News is the only place that I get my news. 
I I did listen, Nash. Wait, that's not the one you sent me, was it? I thought it was different. Okay, you're saying it's for this. I got you. Um, this was good. This was good. I think we're making some real good progress. Okay, public opinion sympathetic. Jericho leader, North companion, Josh Simon companion. Cool. Okay. Boom. Didn't you recognize one of the cops? Should I? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy Wait, the, first the um, as the Turing test. Who, who's the, the guy back at the police Life. station? Like his Anybody boss or whatever. Tell us about deviance, it's him. Is I I can't remember what's that guy's name. here also it's 12 37 this seems so the cop you saved was hank's friend the one who always gave the briefing to the cases like as we showed up at each of the places It, but so the one that was like at the locations, but not the guy who's Hank's boss. Okay, gotcha. Okay, real quick. I feel like this is a good stopping place. I don't know how long this chapter is, but this is feeling pretty, pretty, pretty pausey. Pretty pause, hold up. I must go, beautiful. It was a pleasure. Listen to the song I gave you. I will love it. No worries, Nash. I will, and thank you so much. Have a good night. Same one who told Connor when Hank will arrive at the station. Okay. So that guy was at the precinct, but he's not the same guy that I'm thinking of. Yeah, what, what am I thinking? Hank's boss is like, you know, he, he's not going to be like out on patrol at 2 a.m. He's the boss. Okay. One million stream points. One million. <laughs> I will. The baking stream does not end until one million cookies are made. Ray, you look like an android. Yes, truly, we got the baking stream in 20, I think it was, I don't know if I can check. I think it was 25 days we raised 1 million cookie crumbles. Do androids dream of cookies? Yes, for sure. Because even an android knows a they know a good cookie when they see it. When is the baking stream? I might have to do it like, I don't know. 
Uh, I'll I'll think of a day, not this upcoming weekend, but maybe a. It's gonna be a weekend stream. Um, I just gotta decide what day. <laughs> Gives Ray new batteries for her smoke alarm. Oh no no no! Where we are, we're ripping smoke alarms out. Ooh, a baking stream. I like to bake cookies. I, I'm not I'm not a good cookie baker. Not a good cookie baker. Good cookie consumer. Cookie baker. Yeah. Ray, do you live in the Midwest? I live on the East Coast. <laughs> Stupid typing on phone. We can make a banking stream. We can, uh, we can pull pull back the books. What are we baking? Okay, so we are baking. I'm thinking a couple different types of cookies, but uh, we at least need to make sugar cookies. I bought like cut out uh, like letter cookie cutters and I'm going to make cookies that say sorry for screaming and then I'm going to give it to my neighbors. Yeah, we weekend's a good time. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to make... <laughs> pay the bills on stream. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're going to sit here and just watch me go through all of my bills. And of course, savings. We're going to do, you know, paying our bills, but then also putting some away. Save it for something special. Did you make sure the neighbors aren't diabetic first? No. But they don't need to eat the cookies. They just need to accept my apology that is written in cookie. Will they be <laughs> accompanied with earplugs? That would be funny, actually. Uh, I'll make like a cute little like, little like basket or bag or something. I bought some cookie cutters with the shape of Pikachu, Totoro, and the Sakura flower. They have so many. I just literally went to Amazon was like letter cookie cutters and it was just like there are a billion, but yeah. Do you like the blonde lady in this game's main menu screen? Yeah, she she seems fine. Ask if they want the cookies. Otherwise, you can just eat them. Yes, as I go to drop them off, I'll say I'll have like a platter that'll say like, oh, I made you these cookies just to say like, sorry for screaming when I was playing a video game at like midnight on like work nights. Um, so I made these for you. And if they're like, oh, that's okay, honey. Like, uh, I, I've, I've seen some of the trash that's come out of your house and smelled it. And if that is what you're putting in your body, like I'm all set, then more cookies for us and whatever. Yes, Chloe, Chloe. You have to post a pic on Discord of the cookie basket. Oh, I definitely will, Lizzie. I definitely will. Um, I'm going to make an executive decision here and stop now. Because I think... Well, what do you guys think timing-wise? Like, how much longer of game time? Of Ray plays game time. Time to go to work, see you Saturday for charitable fun times. Yes, have a good one, MC. <laughs> if they don't want the cookies offered to make them tacos, they definitely could be watching the stream, in which case, um, hey. <laughs> yep. At least 40 hours. Can you imagine if Edith was like, well, I was watching when you're talking about <laughs> our trash, you can keep your little cookies. <laughs> I, she's just like a, a little old lady, like comes to the door and I'm like, oh, Edith, I just want to say I'm so sorry for screaming at, um, as you called them, ungodly 
times of night and I made you these cookies just to say I'm sorry. And she goes, oh, honey. And she grabs the bag and she like spikes it on the ground and then she uses her cane and is like coo, 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 and like breaks the plate cookies everywhere and she was like apology accepted honey and like closes the door that's that's what i picture happening <laughs> We've been story. playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Yes. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? Right. Um, I'm glad you said yes. Everything okay with Chloe? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. What's wrong? I I said yes to the friends question if you remember back, maybe. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I like your interior decorating. It really reflects your personality. I mean, I like it. Well, thank you, Chloe. I, you know what? I gotta agree. It's something with the couch and sort of, you know, the random assortment of, of pictures on the back wall um i also have some plants they're they're kind of hard to see but i think they're lovely um and i think you uh agree and yeah oh do you do you see on my back wall there's um there's wood art i made that i made that and then i put it on my own wall it's under my skyrim poster which is one of my very, very favorite games of all time because it was my very first PC game that I ever played ever. Oh, uh, I like your interior decorating too. Today. I hope you're doing okay. Okay, that's it. We're out of here. We're out of here. I'm sorry. This is just... Yeah, sorry. I, I probably don't get as much sleep as I probably should, but like... <sighs> Look, lady. I don't get... Listen here, lady. I don't get to just sit inside a video game all day long and talk to people as they come in and out. No, I gotta sit at this desk and I gotta talk talk to people constantly asking me about the work that I'm doing just to have this person over here ask me about the work I'm doing and that guy back there to ask me about the work I'm doing. So yeah. <laughs> she was about to smile more being like, hey, you okay? You should really smile more. I should have offered her. Okay, we'll, we'll come back after the cooking stream, Panda, and I'll offer her. She just wants to be your friend. Yeah, I, I established we can be friends. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Hey, while I'm here. Uh... Last of Us is on PlayStation, so I can't see. 
how much game time I have. What work are you doing? Uh, I do like data visualizations and like data querying Panda. That's my job. I like it though. It's good when you like what you do. Did Chloe ask you about a survey? Yes, she's asked me a couple of times about the survey and I keep saying no. So I feel like that's why she's sad and she's doing the like thing. But not sure. Okay. Much better. Um, right. Right, right. So, let us... Find a place to go. Mm -mm -mm. I... Oh my gosh. Wait, Quirk is playing Apex again? <clears throat> Maybe she said because you didn't do the survey. That honestly, that's what I'm thinking is what happened here. Okay. Um in a second, I'm going to figure out where where we're all going next, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for the 1 million cookie crumbles. We we've earned ourselves a baking stream. So, I'm pretty excited for that. I hope you guys are pretty excited for that. Otherwise, you all just donated your crumbles to something that you don't want to do and that would be kind of weird so that's fine Kirk playing apex yeah he's been playing a lot see he's just into it lately if you don't bake i'm gonna make quirk microwave another hot dog i'm i'm baking i just i'll pick a day i'll pick a day and we can it's actually just Ray raking. Raking. It's just raking. No Ray. Boom. We're doing yard work, chat. <laughs> okay. Um, couple of things. So, uh, Saturday's stream. I'm going to start a little bit earlier than usual, um, just in case you are new here or, you know, you forgot or whatever the case is. Saturday is our charity stream for Games for Love, and we have got, got some things planned. Um, I don't know if I should, like, hype up. Well, I, I won't I won't spoil too much with like the goal tiers and all of that, but um let's just say that we a very, very good friend of ours named Flannel Jax agreed to play some Dead by Daylight with me to kick off the stream. And I may or may not have asked um the folks over at Soft Giving who are helping put the whole stream together and do all the notifications and and all that good stuff. Ask them if we could potentially do some jump scare notification sounds. So um, there is going to be horrifically scary jump scare notifications um, if you donate $10 to a hundred dollars anywhere in there there's a couple of different variations of jump scare notifications so those are going to be available while playing dead by daylight um so if that interests you you can scare me for the kids <laughs> what an awesome idea that was to play a scary game and make jump scare notifications yeah i'm not gonna regret that at all so that's that's where things are gonna get started from um and then i think 
currently there are like seven or eight different donation tiers so hopefully people donate and then as we hit the different milestones um there's gonna be a couple different like events and or new games that we can then after dead by daylight we can pivot to and play after so um that's sort of that's where we're at um tomorrow i'm just gonna be trying to get a bunch of stuff pulled together and i think i'm going to kick saturday stream off at like 1 15 ish just to um you know talk to you guys for a little bit before Jax gets on and we do all that stuff so <laughs> sorry yeah i'm definitely gonna warn my neighbors in advance i'm gonna be like okay so it's not midnight but like there may be screams coming from my apartment at like 2 to 4 p.m on saturday so uh, i'll just let them know in advance and that, that they should go outside or something they should do something outside because i'm raising money for uh video games and video game consoles that are made available at hospitals and community centers and a bunch of other places where kids that could really use a distraction from things going on in their life could really use them and they should go play outside boom bam done i'm done okay um all that being said i want to see quirk play some apex i personally have never played apex so i'm not gonna they're judgment free zone over here but i'm just I, I'm interested. I'm interested. Okay. Uh, so we're going to raid Quirk. Thank you guys for the baking stream. I'm actually kind of excited for that. Because it's going to be killing like four birds with one stone. I get to have cookies. Um, we say sorry to the neighbors. I think this is something fun that you guys wanted to do that's a little different than just playing video games all the time and uh, uh, I don't know the first the fourth bird may have just been like there wrong place wrong time but yeah anywho uh, I'm gonna get this raid going thank you guys so so much for all of the follows the subs the resubs the gifted subs and most most importantly being here, chilling, hanging out with me very, very late slash very, very early, depending on where you are, um, playing some Detroit Become Human. I very much appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you are free at all on Saturday, um, if you want to drop by the charity stream, I would be so, so thankful. So with that... Guess I'll see you on Saturday. And if you don't want to come to the charity stream, that's totally cool. Um, I will probably be finishing, I think, Detroit Become Human on Sunday, which uh, that stream time is 2 p.m. So 1 p.m. Saturday, 2 p.m. Sunday. Cool. Good? Good. All right. Throwing us over to Quirk. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome end of your week and Saturday morning. And uh, yeah, I'll see you Saturday afternoon-ish. Yep, that's it. I'll see you then. Bye. Gotta make sure we have a, a route out. Anything I really would need is a helmet. We've got a purple. Okay. We're gonna find a gold just laying on the ground here. Ten seconds until the ring closes. Ray, thank you. Grab what you need and let's go. For the Ray, appreciate it. We just wait as long as possible to push in so they start fighting and then we can just walk in. Welcome everybody. Looking at the hill. 